Despite Kenya rebelizing her market in the 1990s, the country has been introducing measures that protect some sensitive sectors from competition. The sugar industry has been among the beneficiaries, with the largest being a move by the government to increase duty on imported sugar from the current $200 per ton to $460 per ton. Also lined up for increased protection is plastics and aluminium mill cans for packaging as well as fishing nets where the government has increased import duty from the current 10% to 25%. Uh, so he's actually saying as, as giving a time for industries to get themselves competitive uh, because at the end of the day I think uh, it has to be recognized you know, the way a country grows if it trades more uh, and it can only trade more if it allows others to come and trade with it. Analysts have welcomed this move and challenged local manufacturers to rise to the occasion. Manufacturers should, should be able to um, see this in a positive direction and uh, be happy that steps are being taken to be able to protect them against cheap imports which by the end of the day can actually kill the industry and even bring the lower quality goods into, into, into the market. The 2.23 trillion shillings 2015-2016 budget represents a 25% increase on last year's budget. Economic analysts are however concerned about the low absorption rate of allocation to finance development projects at both the national and the county level. They took with a pinch of salt proposals to gradually increase the core capital for banks from the current 1 billion shillings to 5 billion shillings by 2018, noting that the financial condition of the industry can only be measured once the risk-based capital requirements that were recently introduced have settled. The objective for this is to, to protect the sector against any external shocks that the sector may experience. As you are aware, financial service is one of the sectors that is very interlinked internationally. So if there, if there are shocks in some other parts of the world, can easily creep into our sector. So that is the good intention, which is good because it ends then protecting the depositors and the users of those of those services. Caroline Jinga for News Hour Business.